Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, my name is Indah Dewi Lestari. I'm student of International Program of Accounting 2016, and I will continue uh, this presentation to Chapter Three with the title is Financial Statements of Government Pure Public Organization. The financial statements of public sector organizations are the output of the public sector financial accounting process. Financial information serve to provide the basis for consideration for decision making and is a tool to realize compliance and stewardship, implement public sector accountability and restrictive reporting, organizational planning basis. This chapter, I mean this presentation will discuss matters relating to the financial statement of public sector uh, organization including the objective of financial statements. Uh, accounting uh, standards that assess it and the format of financial statements is accordance with accounting standards for both government and non-government public sector organization. Here are some purposes public of public sector organization financial report based on a statement of financial accounting content number four. The first one is can provide useful information for providers and prospective providers of resources, users, and other potential users in making rational decision regarding the allocation of organization uh, resources. The second one is. Uh, providing information to help providers and potential resource providers, users, and other potential users in assessing services provided by non-business organizations. The third one is can provide information that is useful pro for uh, providers and prospective providers of resources, users, and other potential users in assessing the performance of managers of non-business organization and on the implementing of management responsibilities and other performance aspect and the the fourth one is provide information about organizational performance for one period here are some purpose of public sector organization financial report based on sfac number four next we talk about the government accounting. Government accounting system are based on the constitution and laws and regulation that apply to the to a country. Government accounting system must be able to provide accountable and auditable information, capable of providing financial information needed for preparation of plans or programs and uh, evaluation of uh physical and financial implement in implementation uh, the government accounting system in indonesia is divided into two first is central government and local government accounting system and the second one is village accounting system the first is central government and regional government accounting the legal basis of the government accounting system in indonesia is law number 17 of 2003 concerning state finance which states that the accountability report on the implementation of apbn or apbd in the form of financial statements must be prepared and presented in accordance with government accounting standards um furthermore Based on government regulation number 71 of 2010 concerning government accounting standards, it was determined that the government financial statement consists of a budget implementation report, financial report, and notes of financial statements. Budget realization report presenting an overview of resources, allocations, and use of 
financial resources managed by the central or regional government which describes the comparison between the budget and its realization is one reporting period the elements covered directly by the budget realization report consist of income lra spending transfers and financing each element can be explained as follows the first is income lra is revenue by the uh, state general treasurer or regional general treasurer by or by other government entities that add more budget balance with the relevant fiscal year period which is the government's right and uh, does not need to be repaid by the government income or equal receipts is the right of the government is recognized as an addition to the value of the net wealth the second is expenditures expenditures uh, or expenditures by the state um, general treasurer that reduce the budget balance for within the period of the relevant budget year which the government will not yet repayment uh, next is transfers transfers are receipts or disbursement of money by a reporting entity from or to other reporting entities including balance fund and providing sharing fund um, next is financing finance financing is a uh, any revenue or expenditures that does not affect the net worth of the entity that needs to be uh, repaid and or will be received again both in the relevant fiscal year and subsequent budget years which is mainly intended uh, to cover the deficit and the government budgeting or utilizes ut utilizing budget surpluses <sighs> next is report on changes in budget balance more is presenting information on the increase or decrease of budget balance over the reporting year compared to the previous year and then balance sheet balance sheet describe the financial position of the anti entity reporting on assets liabilities and equity fund on a specific date next is village financial accounting village accounting standards that currently ex exist and in accordance with village accounting are government accounting standards on the basis of consideration that first is uh, the village uh, is responsible for managing government affairs um, and the village is had an obligate to submit report and uh, on the administration of village governments to regain or major the second is villages receive income which includes APBN and APBD villages have different character characteristics with local government and central government especially in terms of human resources and infrastructures next is about stages of village accounting development um, ministers of home affairs regulation number 113 2014 concerning guidelines for village financial management is the beginning of the construction of the village accounting system the second is the accounting technique chosen is in the regulation is relatively simple the third one is the accounting based use in the case basis and the fourth one is village bookkeeping is done with a single entry system. The next one is the main recurring facility is a general cash book that uh, serves to record all cash receipt and disbursement tax transaction. Uh, the next one is to select the details of the receipt and expenditures transaction based on the type of activity it is made activity cash handbook a tax assistance cash book and the village bank book and then the financial statement that are 
used as the responsibility of the village head uh, to the region and measure of the accountability report on the realization of the implement implementation of the village budget and the last one is the accountability report is also accompanied by the village ownership report Okay, I think enough of my presentation. I apologize if there are many mistaken of, of my of what I present about and I hope you can enjoy my video and you can understand what I present about now. And thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.